What's up, Internet? Welcome back to Total OS Today, and we are going to take a look at the, the brand new Linux Mint 13 Maya. Now, I will be taking a look at both default desktops environments, which will be Cinnamon and Mate. So I'm combining this review as Linux Mint 13 Cinemate, if you will. Yeah, I know it sounds like a coffee creamer, but I kind of like I kind of like the ring of the sound of it, you know, Cinemate. Anyway, Linux Mint 13 Cinemate review named Maya. So is this stable or horse stable? Is this completely rock solid or maybe a little bit of horse doo-doo thrown in? Well, stick around because we are going to find out right now. Okay, first up is Linux Mint 13 Mate. Let's first go to the Linux Mint blog and take a look quickly take a look at the new features alright it says here with the rock solid mate 1.2 and the brand new cinnamon 1.4 Linux Mint provides a choice between two of the most popular Linux desktops that is true whether you're looking for a mature and productive environment or you're interested in being part of an exciting new adventure we hope you enjoy your experience and so far I am okay Linux Mint mate 1.2 Let's quickly take a look at the pros. Mate is stable and it works on all computers. It is the most is among the most productive and easy to use desktops available. It sure is. Mate continues where GNOME 2 left off. Yes, Mate comes with support for Mint Menu, Mint Desktop, Compiz, and everything that made GNOME 2 the most popular Linux desktop. Absolutely. All right, mil uh, Milk, uh, Mate, not Milk. <laughs> Mate is built with GTK2. It features more themes and integrates with more applications. Okay, con. Some parts, some parts of GNOME 2 were not migrated to Mate yet and have a few aspects such as Bluetooth support, which may not work, may not, might not work as well as they did with GNOME 2. I have a little bit of a sore throat, so bear with me. I apologize for that. <clears throat> okay, Cinnamon 1.4. Alright, Cinnamon was born for the same reasons as Mate. GNOME 2 was one of the core components of Linux Mint, and GNOME 3 lacked the features and design of a suitable alternative. Let me scroll down here. Pro, Cinnamon is among the sleekest modern-looking desktops or modern-looking desktop environments. True. Cinnamon features innovative features. Cinnamon is built on rapid technologies. And the Cinnamon community is very active, um, producing new themes and applets. A few cons. Cinnamon requires 3D acceleration. Cinnamon is brand new and unfortunately not as stable. Cinnamon relies on GNOME 3 and Clutter, which are also both brand new and going through rapid transformations. And there are some screenshot, uh, scream, not scream. Man, I cannot talk this morning. There are screen shots. If I keep flubbing this, I will scream. Okay, let's get to the actual desktop itself. This is Linux Mint Mate. You've seen this before with the previous versions of Linux Mint up to, I would say, what, Linux Mint 11. Now, I found Linux Mint 12 to suffer from an identity crisis. They didn't want to be Linux Mint MGSC, Linux Mint made cinnamon and what other flavors were out there and to me that was a little bit on the horse stable side although i would give the linux mint team credit for trying to do something completely different they did and they have succeeded with linux mint 13. so very briefly you remember the panel bar where you well you are now able to right click and add applets this is the part i missed and it's back so welcome back and by the way this is using what is this using? 298 megabytes of RAM running the screencasting software. That is excellent. And of course, the classic Mint menu. Now, for some reason, I've always loved this. I still do. This looks a little bit better than Cinnamon, which I will show you shortly. I, I, you know what? I don't know. There's just something about this. It just, it just looks cool. Of course, you've seen this before. You can switch between favorites and all applications. A search here at the bottom. So, if I was searching for, say, um, let's see, screen, 
and it'll give me Kazam screencaster, screensaver, take a screen, a screen shot. <laughs> Cannot talk this morning. We'll take a screen shot. Ah, and the welcome screen introduction to Linux Mint. All right, let's quickly browse through these here accessories. Let's see anything stick out here. I don't see anything graphics. The GIMP, great, great image editor. Internet Firefox installed by default. Office, uh, LibreOffice is great. Sound and video. Oh, let's see. VLC works great for both um, Windows and Linux system tools. Bleach Bit is great for cleaning up your system. And I installed a package called uh, Sentinel, which I will talk about that in the future. Administration, setting up printers, network, and preferences. And let's go to appearance. All right, these are your themes, backgrounds, and fonts. What you see here, the, the uh, Total OS Today logo, this is one of my uh, standard themes, or not themes, but one of my standard logos that I used that I created using GIMP. Of course, you can right click. And another nice thing I like about this, you can click Get More Backgrounds Online, and of course, browse through some more backgrounds. And also with Get More Themes Online. So, once again, you've seen this before. What you liked about the previous Linux Mint or Ubuntu desktops. This is back. This is it's GNOME 3, but it's really a fork of GNOME 2. They've taken what was extremely popular in the past and able to adapt it into a, a modern desktop environment. So if you like what you saw before with the Mint menu, and I do, this desktop environment is perfect for you. All right, let's get out of this, and I will reboot into. Linux Mint 13 Cinnamon. All right, let's take a look at Linux Mint 13 Maya featuring the Cinnamon desktop. I just logged out and logged in out of Mate and into Cinnamon. Cinnamon. This is Welcome to Linux Mint. Make sure you take a look at this pop up here. If you are completely new uh, to Linux or Linux Mint, this is extremely, extremely helpful. I have browsed through these uh, shortcuts here. Linux Mint team has done a terrific job, you know, with the various, uh, you know, links here, features, problems, user guide, tutorials. Definitely check it out. Let me close that. All right, this is the default desktop with the Linux Mint 13 wallpaper. I think it looks pretty, pretty cool actually. Now, if you want something really brand new, cutting edge, Linux Mint 13 featuring Cinnamon is for you. However, I don't believe yet it is quite ready or polished or stable enough for new users. This froze up, crashed on me. Well, it froze up on me twice and I had to do a hard reboot, which is usually not recommended. But that being said, Linux Mint 13 with Cinnamon looks great. All right, you can right click. And of course you have your wallpapers here all settings which is kind of cool a shortcut there now the one thing I don't like about this here with the appearance uh, the appearance panel is there's no link at the bottom to say something like you know for more backgrounds or for more wallpaper click here as you could with mate so that part I kinda miss moving up to the right of course we have the time and the date and I am fully up to date, so I will not go through the update manager, the uh, screencaster, my laptop. Zero minutes remaining. Ooh, really? <laughs> Bug. Okay. Volume. And you can launch your various players, in my case, Banshee and Rhythmbox. My connection manager. This is the uh, Cinnamon control panel or the panel with the controls for changing the options for panel edit and panel settings and so on and so forth. So let me go to uh, other settings. 
And you have the various settings here, ranging from panel, calendar, the hot corner, which is a cool feature, themes, applets, so on and so forth. If I move my cursor all the way to the top, and you can kind of like GNOME 3, or the GNOME 3 shell, but in this case, I'm just going between two workspaces, desktop environments. I can add a third if I so choose to, and go between the three. Now, that feature is cool, and it's stable. Now, the one thing I don't like about this that you have uh, that you can do in Mate is right click. You can do this. You need to go to the Cinnamon Settings control panel and go from there. And you have a, a list here of applets to choose from. And you can also click this link, Get New Applets, and install new applets if you so choose to. Now, I installed something called the uh, Screenshot here. Let's see if we can take a screenshot and something fail again is some kind of bug keep in mind cinnamon is new so there will be bugs and it won't be quite as polished or stable as uh, Linux Mint mate let me uh, click this one more time troubleshoot restart cinnamon looking glass restore to default panel edit mode panel uh, settings okay now I changed the panel position from the bottom to the top. Now if you do this, note that it says if you change the layout you will need to restart Cinnamon. This part I don't really care for because in Mate you don't have to restart Cinnamon. And of course if you use Windows 7, the super bar, if you change something, you don't have to change that also. And I believe that's uh, that's true in Windows XP if I recall, if you're still using that. Anyway, this part I don't like. It's a minor quibble, but it's something there. It's not quite as intuitive or um, user-friendly. Okay, we have the uh, shortcuts here, the home, home folder. Let's click about and see what we have. This is Nautilus 3.4.2. Terminal. And of course, uh, Firefox is installed by default. All the codecs are installed, of course, to play your favorite Toss Today videos all day and fall asleep. <laughs> and I'm just joking. I hope I hope you don't fall asleep. Okay, the standard icons and the home folder. And this is just the uh, logo I created using GIMP. All right, very good. Let's go to the Cinnamon menu. Now, this actually looks pretty cool. I, I still prefer, I think, the Mint menu and Mate a little better. But you have your various shortcuts here to the left. A search bar, which is nice. The scroll bar, which is also very nice. You can scroll between the various shortcuts here, all applications, accessories. Again, this is similar to uh, the Mint menu in Linux Mint uh, or the Mate in Linux Mint 13 Mate. Let's take a look at the. Um, what did I want to take a look at? Let's go, let's type in software. Let's take a look at the software manager. Now this software manager is going to look a little bit different than say something from Ubuntu, but either way they both look great. This looks very pleasing on the eyes, colorful, nice looking icons. Let's click, um, let's highlight sound and video. Take a quick look. This will give you a list of downloadable sound and video pieces of software with some reviews, uh, ratings, which definitely are very helpful. Let's see. Uh, let's take a look at OpenShot real quick. And it says it is not installed, which is correct, of course. Score of 124, it has 95 reviews. 
and I'll give you a brief description of OpenShot. Now, if you're new to this and need help of which software is more stable than the other piece of software, these reviews, these scores really are extremely helpful. And of course, you have a search uh, tab bar here at the top right. And right now, the computer is running sluggish. One thing I noticed between Cinnamon and Mate Mate is definitely feels more zippy, more polished, more refined. Cinnamon to me is still a work in progress. If if you really like Cinnamon and know what you're doing, go ahead. But if you if you're not sure, I would wait probably at least a year for this to be at least up to my standards. Let me see if I can escape. All right, didn't freeze. Good. All right. In conclusion, I tested both environments before. Mate is flawless, at least for me. Cinnamon is not quite there yet. So if I had to call Linux Mint 13 as a whole stable, yes, but Linux Mint with Mate is more stable than Cinnamon. Cinnamon has some, uh, I want to be kind and fair. Cinnamon has some horse stable issues. It's not quite polished here, there. It's not quite polished yet, but I will give the Linux Mint team a lot of credit They've done a terrific job trying to at least give you an option, trying to blend, you know, the old technologies in, you know, with the new and take this into the future, into the future. And they have done a terrific, wonderful job. You can certainly download both. I downloaded uh, Mate first, then downloaded the uh, Cinnamon shell. One piece of warning, when you download a different environment, uh, as opposed to your standard desktop environment, you can break your system. All right, that being said, take a look at Linux Mint 13. I recommend Mate over Cinnamon. They both feel great. I'm still a little bit old school. Mint menu somehow. There's something about the Mint menu, like I said, looks and feels great. A little bit better than Cinnamon right now, but that's probably because I'm not really used to Cinnamon. Uh, give Cinnamon uh, a year, and I think it'll be one of the finest Linux-based distributions on the planet. Good job to the Linux Mint team. That's it. That's it for this full review, I guess, of Linux Mint Cinemate. Now I just need my coffee for the Cinemate Creamer. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And as always, I will catch you guys sometime in your Cinnamon Mate future. Ciao.